Hi, my name is Wonderson Jackson, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the awesome update by ShadCN UI. For those of you who don't know what is ShadCN UI, it is pretty much a component library based on React and Tailwind CSS. And this component library have loads and loads of components that are really easy, easy to use to integrate into your React or Next.js project. And you can do it with different types with Laravel, Gatsby, Astro, Remix, and other types of frameworks. And you here have a list of components from accordions, buttons, breadcrumbs, to the very end of tooltips. And it's really easy to use because it have a collection of components. And then you can just install it into your project and ready to go. And that's really awesome. So as you can see here, you can build awesome interfaces based on the Shad CN UI. But one more cool stuff that they integrated recently to the CLI is the concept of blocks. So blocks pretty much is, as you know, Legos, you put things together and you build something. That is what pretty much Shad CN did. They put together this bunch of components to generate these blocks. And these blocks are ready-made interfaces that you can apply into your product. So let's choose one here and we're going to install. You're going to first open your terminal. I'm going to write here terminal. I think it's the same. Maybe it's the same for Windows, but for Mac is command space. And in my case, I use hyper for my terminal. Just choose your terminal of choice. And then you're going to navigate into a folder where you generally do your project. So in my case, I'm actually going to create a new one. I'm going to make directory, make directory called web apps and I'm going to go to this folder web apps and then I'm going to just create a Next.js project. So if I want to do it with ShadCN already, I'm just going to come here and say npx ShadCN. They changed, they don't have this UI anymore. So it's just ShadCN at latest so that you're going to receive the latest update version of ShadCN. And then you want to initiate. So just say init. And what it's going to do is initiate the project for you. But one thing that you can also do is already define the, the, the component that you want to integrate into your, to your project. So in my case, I just want to get already get started with this, let's say maybe one of those sidebar. So this is, you have a list of dashboards and sidebar and component. I actually won't, just want to use this sidebar zero one. So NPX is just going to tell you to install initiate and then it's going to add the sidebar into your project and then you press enter let it load a little bit it's going to ask you if you want to start a next.js project you said yes and then you're just going to say i don't know you call this whatever you want i'm going to say my play my playground app and then it's going to start building everything that you need in order to run your project so in the meantime it's just really cool if you come here and explore chat see in a bit more just like take advantage of the blocks that they have existing here or even so you can actually go into the github where all of this project is because it's open source so you can just come here inside of their github you can come here inside of the app folders you're gonna look for rigid registry register remember english is not my first language so don't mind my english anyways um yeah so here you have loads of of those blocks and then you hear blocks and they're all of the type of blocks that you can possibly use. But for now, we're going to just stick with the sidebar. So you're going to here continue setting up on the side. So you can choose between New York or default. I'm going to continue with New York. I'm going to choose zinc or actually stone. And then I can continue with the CSS variables. I'm going to say yes, just keep things as it is. And then it's going to start creating the project for you, doing all of the installation of dependencies needed for this project. So, yep, there you go. It added all of the necessary components for this project. So what you're going to do here now is going to look in for your folder. And in my case, you're just going to say CD my playground app. And then you're just going to say NPM dev. Oops, sorry. Um, you actually need to do NPM run dev. So there you go. When you press NPM run dev, it's going to start the project for you. And what you do here now, is you can just open the project and when you put here let's say for example input here dashboard and you are already going to have access to this ready-made sidebar look how awesome and it's really fast it's like really straight to the point and you already have access to a complete like sidebar whatever you call it but in this case it's really good that you 
if you have some sort of knowledge in coding because it's going to help you a lot in how to fix these issues because for example i don't really like this all right so one thing you can do is open your project within cursor so if you open you know where you created your project so you can open the project inside of cursor and with cursor if you know what is cursor cursor is this amazing ai code editor it's like it leaves the co GitHub Copilot thousand miles behind because it's so cool. And just to be clear, my background is in design. I'm a product designer. I have a little bit of coding experience, but not much to like develop a full fledged app. So this is actually a really cool tool to use if you're not using it yet. And yeah, so what you're going to do here now is just come inside of the app and you're going to search for your page and you see it have all of this boilerplate code, but on the side here, it already created this page, this side nav, and it have everything you need to know. It's weird color going on here. So we're gonna do is try to find where this this is, uh, BG background. Oh, so yeah, there, here's the color, and this is actually what is making everything look a bit weird. So you just wanna remove that and save it. There you go, you already have it saved. And then, um, yeah, it's look pretty cool. Let's do the following. We are gonna choose a dashboard. So in order to install this dashboard here, we this this chart we're gonna we want to like let you play around with this chart so what i'm gonna do is open the the cursor terminal and i'm gonna click here and then i'm gonna say npx chat cn at latest and then i say add and i'm gonna call the name of this so i'm gonna say charts dash zero one and so in this case we are working with the UI charts and if you open this project right now you see that it doesn't have anything here now so what you're gonna do is just open the page this is the chart component on charts 01 so this is chart 01 make sure that you say charts and there you go you already have a fully functional chart for your app. So all you needed to do is just run the npx chatcn latest add charts 01, import that library into your project, and then just instance it into this view. So this dashboard contains the charts and everything that you need. And let's say one more thing that I think is actually the coolest thing of everything the coolest part of everything that is built so far is v0 if you use v0 you probably know it but if not v0 also pretty much built ui components it generates artifacts i think if you used um cloud ai you probably know that cloud has artifacts and generate codes which is generally more custom but with v0 it does the same it generates the artifacts, but it has more up to date with the libraries and the components that you may need as we are using ChatCN. What you're gonna do here, or you can search for previous apps. So I'm gonna search in the history here, or actually I want to, let's say I wanna create a dashboard, create a dashboard for uh, email newsletter app just press enter and it's going to generate the ui just don't worry um yeah so it's going to come up with this component for you and you can have the preview so here you have it you have everything that you need for the dashboard for this newsletter app so that let's just assume we're working on a newsletter app and we want our own component if we don't want to use a block we can use this previously we had to copy the code and paste it manually inside of our project but that's not the case anymore. Why so? Because now you can pretty much just come here, add to code base. So this pretty much you can get this, copy it, come into your come into your project. Let's clear this out. And then just paste that command into your terminal of your project. Make sure it's open in the project. When you press enter, what it's gonna do, it's gonna install the project into your code base. And this thing, I think is still gonna probably be improved, but they allows you to update your, they want you to add some new components, like for example, the buttons and stuff, but you're gonna say, nope, nope. And then there you go. And now as you see the current interface for 
let's go back to the projects to the local host so the currently they're just using this so at the moment you see this is the dashboard i don't want this chart inside of my dashboard anymore i actually want this new component that was created yeah so this is the new new component that was created and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna come here i'm going to import all right so what do you want to do first is import the dashboard so let's see how it's exported what is the name here so dashboard dashboard component i want to use this inside of my project so what i'm going to do here just come here let's open the bracket and you, and you see that cursor is already suggesting this and then you come here forward slash and then you close it oh no you don't want to do that you want to do just yes and it's going to break and then you just need to make sure you import so you come here import from dashboard and then you remove this so <laughs> i have some setup here that with es lint and pretty pretty fire kind of annoying sometimes but there you go you already have the dashboard that you created in v0 inside of your project you you created here and now you just install it inside of your project and you have a full-fledged interface of shad cn new cli block and you can create components in v0 install it into your project and you have this interface ready to go this is amazing i really i'm enjoying doing this i'm actually integrating this into my current workflow which has speed up a lot the the way that i create apps so if you like this video Thank you for taking the time and watching it. I know it was a bit extended and a bit long, but I wanted to show you a bit of a breakdown of how to get your app up and running using AI and ShadCN new CLI. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one.